King Blair here. Now, I know a lot of you are excited for EVO, but unfortunately Epic 7 didn't make it this year, but the next best thing is Guilty Gear. So today we're going to be talking about a Guilty Gear tier list, so you know which characters you can expect to see in the meta. We're going to go through this pretty quick, because I know you don't have a lot of time. Alright, the first character we're going to be talking about today is Anji. The first thing you need to know about Anji is he fights with fans and butterflies. He's very weak, and he's going to be the worst in the game, you're not going to need to worry about him. Next, we're going to see Jacko here. Now, I know a lot of you have been seeing Jacko around in the memes with the Jacko pose, you know, the haha -ha funny, but really, she just fights with puppets, and it's not very strong at the end of the day. She also doesn't have a lot of health, so you're not going to be worried too much about seeing her in bracket. Next, we're going to be talking about Gold Lewis, another DLC character like Jacko. This one's slightly stronger, since he has more health, and he's got a big gun that he can shoot you with. you got to watch out for that one. All right, that'll be it for D tier. Next, we're looking at C. First one we're going to talk about here is Faust. Faust, you would think he's pretty strong since he's so large, but actually, by profession, he's a doctor. So mo he's more trained to be a healer more than a fighter. So you don't have to worry about him too much. Next, we're going to be looking at Kai here. Now, Kai has sort of a rough history here, but at the end of the day, he is a twink in a strong steroid muscle man fighting game. He's not as well built as some of these other characters like Soul Bad Guy and Potemkin, so you don't have to worry about him too much as, as well. However, he does have a sword, and that is very pointy, so you're going to want to look out for that. Next, we're going to be talking about Milia. Milia is known to be an assassin, and is very surgical with a lot of her stuff. And in bracket, you probably will not have to worry about this as much as some other characters, because she fights with her hair, and unless they're precise with all their movements, it's not going to be an effective game plan most of the time. The next character we're going to be talking about here is Testament. He's come out very recently, so a lot of people don't have fully formed opinions on him. However, I do, because I know a lot. I can tell you that Testament is a little weaker than average. Like most of the other DLC characters in this game, he's pretty much pay to lose, so you don't have to be too worried about fighting him, and I would not recommend picking him up to play. The next character we're going to be talking about, starting in B tier here, is Chip. Chip is a ninja, but he's also a small little man. He runs very quickly, but he does not have a lot of health. So if you're fighting a Chip, you have to swat him out of the sky like a fly and don't worry about it. He's okay, but there are worse and there are better. Next, we're going to be talking about Giovanna. Giovanna fights with a wolf, and you have to really worry about the moves where the wolf comes out, because he's big, and he's strong, and he's got big kicks. Giovanna is not as strong as the wolf, so most of her moves you don't have to worry about, and she shouldn't be too big of a threat for most of you. Next, we're going to be looking at Biken here. Biken, in this version of the game, found a gun, and you have to really watch out for that one, because if she shoots you, it's going to hurt a lot. But otherwise, she only has one arm, so you shouldn't have to worry about her too much. Just be aware that when she develops meter, you got to watch out for the gun at all times. Next, we're going to be looking at Potemkin. Potemkin is an interesting case, because like some of these other characters below here, like Gold Lewis, he's very slow. However, he has one move that you got to watch out for, and that's the Potemkin Buster. If he grabs you, it's going to hurt, because he's going to break your spine, and that's no good. Next, we're going to be starting to look at the A and S tiers, which is where you get into the real cream of the crop of the cast. These are the good characters that you're going to be watching, watching out for, or you're going to be looking to play to do well in bracket. First, we're going to be looking at Eno. The thing about Eno is she has incredible supers, potentially the best set in the game. Her reversals are very fast, deal high damage, or plus on block, so you got to watch out for those. However, i got to knock her down a few points with some of the other characters higher above her, since she has a bowl cut and it doesn't look great. Next, we're going to be talking about Axel here. Axel's a pretty good character. He has a lot of range, and he's difficult to contest a lot of the time. But he has a very volatile matchup spread. Some of these other top tiers that we're going to be talking about later on, he does very well against. But there's some other characters that are lower down that he does poorly against because they're so fast, like Chip and Milia. But also, like with Eno, who got knocked down for having a bowl cut, he's British, so we have to take him down a few points as well. The next person we're going to be talking about here is May. May is very interesting, since she's one of the few characters that fights with an animal friend, which are the dolphins and the uh, sea lions that she uses to throw beach balls. Uh, those are a little scarier than other things such as uh, Giovanna's dog and uh, Testament's crow, because she has more animals, first of all, and also they're slightly bigger than the uh, crow that Testament has, so you have to be a little more worried about them. Also, she has an anchor, and if you've ever been hit with an anchor in real life, you know that hurts a lot, and you want to be avoiding that as much as you can. The next one we're going to be talking about is Soul. Soul is very strong, he has big muscles, and you don't want to get hit by him, because he punches a lot and very hard, and you got to be looking out for that at all times. 
Also, he can just summon fire from the sword, which is very dangerous and you should always be looking out for. Next, we're going to be looking at the top five characters in the game here. These are the ones you either want to be playing or want to be avoiding. And if you see these characters, you should probably run away or disconnect from the match because it's just not worth fighting them. First one we're going to talk about is Happy Chaos. So far in the game, I would say he's the only DLC character that is not pay to lose. All the other ones are pretty bad and probably not worth your money. But he comes with a gun that shoots fast and reloads fast. And if you fight him, you're going to be eating a lot of lead. So you want to watch out for that. Uh, next, we're going to see Zato up here. Now, this used to be sort of a hot take since it took a while for his meta to develop. But lately, we've seen a lot of good zoning from him, a lot of good rush down as well. So he can do both depending on where his meters are at. The only problem is he doesn't have a good reversal, so that holds him back from the rest of these top characters. The next we're going to be talking about here is Leo. Leo is very powerful, mostly due to his DP and his back turn stance, which you got to be looking out for. If he turns around, he's going to be hitting you hard and he's going to be mixing you up. And if he's on the ground, you got to watch out for the DP because that'll hit you every time and then it'll kill you and you don't want that. But as long as you bait the DP when it's coming, you should be good to go. The next character we're going to be talking about is Ram. Now, I was considering putting Ram as number one, since she has massive swords and can throw them, and if anyone's good at throwing swords, you know they're dangerous to fight, and they're probably a little crazy. So you want to be watching out for those big swords and watching out for her normals, because if you get hit by those, you're going to have a bad time. And the last character I'm going to be talking about here is Nagoriyuki. Nago is large, has a lot of health, and has another huge sword just like Ram. And while I was considering maybe putting Ram ahead of Nago, I decided at the end of the day, Nago was a little more powerful since he had a little more health, and the Blade Blade, you always got to watch out for. Never fight a man with a Blade Blade. All right, that's going to be it for the tier list today. That's all I've got for you today. I'll see you next time. Peace.